Hey guys, it's Kenneth, and welcome to my tutorial on how I play Switch Fit Song Vice Versus. Thank you guys for watching. Alright, so basically the strings from top to bottom, you're in drop D, R, D, A, D, G, B, E. And the first thing you should know about this pace is that, um... <laughs> You're alternating the top, or the only A string, then you go to the top D string, then you go back to the A string, and then you go back to the top D string. And that, those notes, the bass notes rather, are pretty much uh, the first, third, all the, basically all num all the odd numbers, first note, third note, fifth note, seventh note, etc. Are gonna be on the in that order the A string, top D string, A string, and then top D string. The second, fourth, or all the even numbered notes are going to be, and most of these, most everything is in a two note uh, pattern. So these, all the even numbered notes will almost always be on the second D string. They're usually moving notes. But you're, you're, you're basically alternating um, the top A string, top D string, A string, and the D string. So, without further ado, let's try it. Uh, this is my second take of how to make this tutorial. So, top A string, and the second fret of the second D string. And I'll be calling this string, or the normal string, that is normally D, uh, I'll be calling that the second D string. So. There you've got it. Now you're gonna play both D strings. The second D string will have a finger on it on the fourth fret. Then you're gonna go to the A string and the sixth fret of the D string. Second D string that is. Then top D string and the both D strings actually. And the fourth finger on or the fourth fret of the second D string. And then here's a little bit of tricky part. You're gonna go to the six, seven, and slide down from the seven to the two of the second D string. So this is how it sounds slowly. Just like that. Um, so now, uh, I'll play the whole thing for you slowly once again. And again, I'm alternating. You can play it with the pick or fingered style. Um, I can play it both ways, but I'm just more comfortable with the pick. So. This is how it'll look from this view. Now we're in the second part of the introduction. It's exactly the same. It starts out exactly the same as the second part. Here's where it changes. So that part, um, we're in the second, the third uh, measure of the second part of the introduction. You're on the A string, open A string, and the uh, sixth fret of the D string. Then you're gonna slide up to the ninth fret, and then you're gonna slide up to the eleventh fret of the, the second D string. Then you slide all the way down to the 4th fret of the 2nd D string. So remember, all the moving notes are on that 2nd D string, so from there it was this. 9, 11, 11, slide down to the 4th fret, and switch to the top D string. And then you do that same walk up, 6, 7, 2, on the 2nd uh, D string. So here they come, 6, 7, 2. Back into the walking along the hot side line. So, I will play the entire uh, introduction for you slowly um, just so that you can watch and hopefully learn it. So, here it goes. Bass note is the top D string and the A string. And then top D string. 6, 7, one, 2. Switch the A string. Sorry, just like the normally. Gonna go to the A string. Here comes 9, 11. 
9114, sorry. And then 672. In the, we are actually in the verses. Yay, we made it. We are in the verses. <laughs> and uh, basically, you're just going to be going back and forth between the A chord, the D chord, the A uh, dissonance, and that note. So I'll just give you, um, this is what he's playing during the verses. It's really, really simple. The exact same thing you've been playing. Open A string, and the second fret of the D string, second D string, that is. Uh, top D string, open, and then 4th fret of the D string, open A string, and then the 6th fret of the 2nd D string, and then top D string, and the 4th fret of the 2nd D string. And you're just alternating those. Watch Pacific basically do it over and over again. Same, same exact pattern. Um, it's pretty much the same thing as the introduction, only the introduction has those moving notes. Like that. Um, and then we get into the chorus, and I'm sorry, but I don't have the lyrics memorized. memorized so I have them right here, and hopefully I can put them... Okay, anyway, I know that there's a meaning to it all is the chorus, and it, 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 it varies a little bit slightly. You're still using that same exact pattern of the A string first, you know, top D string, A string first, for the most part. Um, so, I know there's a meaning to it all. And it's the exact same pattern, open A string, second fret of the second D string, to, uh, top D string, and the fourth fret of the second D string. A little more, same thing. Resurrection every time I fall. Here's what changes. You're alternating the top D string and the second D string, and the notes are fourth fret of the top D string, and then seventh fret of the second D string. Babies! Then you're gonna shift down. You got your hearses. Or I've got my hearses. Uh, second fret of the top D string. A little bit of a stretch. Um, and then your fourth finger is gonna stretch all the way to the sixth fret of the second D string. You can probably play it here if you if you have a small hand. Uh, I just use my second finger on the second fret of the top D string, and then your first finger can go on the first fret of the G string if you are small of hand. The babies, I got my hearses. And then you're back here. I, every blessing comes with the sad curses. That is right there. Is the open D string. Top D string and then the fourth fret of the second D string. And I got my vibe. Then you just go back to that um, second fret on the second finger of the top D string and the sixth fret of the D string, second D string. Um, I got my must come set a curse. I got my vice. I got my vice verses. Go back to the beloved chord, top D string, and the second fret, or fourth fret of the second D string. And then you just go back to that same thing again. And you're back into the introduction. Alright, so I will recap the chorus for you. Um, I know there's a little bit slower for you. I know there's a meaning to it all. A little resurrection every time I fall. Here's where it switches. You got your babies. I got my hearse. Sorry, I got my hearses. Every blessing comes with the sad. That was the alternate fingering. Here's the second other fingering. I got my vices. I got my vices verses. I got my vices verses. I remember this chord is a substitute for this chord. It's just, you know, if you have a small hand. Vices verses. Same thing for the introduction. Um, and it's basically the same, the verses are the same, the chorus is the same, 
And then the bridge is really tricky, so it's a B minor chord uh, to the A chord to an E chord, B minor again to A to an E. And it says G, uh, sorry, D, rising it to E, falling in D, still all E. It's just F sharp minor, water and E. I am just so. That's a D chord with a F sharp minor body of E, water and bone, and a D, just water and bone, and you're back in an A. However, there is a way. That, those are the main chords, so that's the gist of it. Now, we're going to get a little bit technical here with a string or a finger, finger pattern or pick patterns. It's a little bit tricky here, so please bear with me if I'm going to get this wrong here. So Alright, sorry about that. So we have our B minor chord. And so the finger pattern is quite uh, difficult. So, or the string pattern rather, or picking pattern, whatever you want to call it, is pretty difficult. This is like my fourth or fifth time trying to do this, so hopefully we'll be able to get through this time. So, you have your B minor chord. And the picking pattern is going to be uh, A string, B string. G string, B string, and that is it. So you're going to be alternating those notes. Sorry. And do it again. Like that. Same exact pattern, only with an A2 chord, and the your two fingers will be on the D string, or second D string, and the G string second frets. Do that exact same pattern, just like that. And then you're going to change it to this chord. It's the same exact uh, finger pattern, only the first note is starting on the top D string instead of the A string. And your fingers are going on the two D string, second frets, and then first finger on the G string, first fret. And then you do the same thing again. Be on my epitaph with it. Now we're on rising and falling. Rising and falling, and after all, it's just water, and I am just so with the body, water, and bone, water, and bone. Alright, so that's the basic chord. Those were the chords. Uh, the finger pattern is slightly different uh, with its rising and falling. So rising and falling, your the first note, your bass note, your this again, we're going back to where this string or the top string, in this case the top D string, will always be the first, third, fifth, seventh notes. And you're gonna always alternating the second note is always gonna be the B string. The fourth note is always going to be the G string in this pattern only, in uh, with its rising and falling. And I will now give you the uh, where your fingers go. So the first time, and you just keep alternating just like that pattern. Uh, top, top D string, open B string, and then second fret of the G string. And then you do the same pattern like what, what I just told you. It's rise, rising and falling. This one is the top D string, second fret, first finger of the G string, and your B string is open. Falling. And after all, go back to that first one. After second one. Oh, it's just water. This one is slightly different. Uh, fourth fret on the top D string, and then your second finger or second fret of the G string, and your B string is open. Water and go to the second one. I am just first one. So with the go back to that one. This is the F sharp minor one. We'll call this the third one. With the body of second one. Water. back into the introduction.
Wow, I totally had to re uh, redo my thinking on how I'd, I would explain this, and I think that worked out pretty well. Um, just remember, again, for that, starting with its rising and falling, your, the string pattern, or the picking pattern, is top D string, B string, top D string, G string. And uh, you're just basically going after those. Just changing those. So I will now play for you the entire bridge. Um, starting with... Let's see, where is the bridge? Let the Pacific laugh. And one, two... Let the Pacific I'll play it a little bit slower. Laugh. Be on my epitaph with its rising and falling. And after all, it's just water in a. Sorry, I'm just so. My bad. With the body of water and bone, it's water and bone. And I will uh, attempt to give you the, um, actually, uh, I guess I'll give this to you as a benefit. I think um, I will show you the, this is the finger pattern that I'm using uh, as my pick falls from its case. So this is the finger pattern. Let it burn and... I'll play it really slowly because I think it's really hard to tell. Let the Pacific laugh Be on my epitaph Even slower With its rising and falling And after all It's just one With the body of water and bone, just water and bone. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, so the phew, we kind of got that through that. Uh, hopefully, you went, got through that unscathed, and I'm sure. Um, you're gonna have to go through that multiple times because it's not really hard to play it's just really hard to explain and um, probably trying to learn it you guys are like what is he trying to say it's super hard what is he saying one and two and all that stuff so uh, again I apologize uh, if you know it's really confusing all right so we are in this nifty part of the bridge uh, where's the oh, oh, oh. So the first part starts off uh, just like it normally would. Um, but then it, it changes pretty rapidly. So this is what it sounds like. this slightly there we go so the uh, the moving parts again you're back in this thing where you know the A string is the first note you play then the D string and then the A string and the D string so the moving notes are on the second D string uh, you're gonna go six seven four six seven four Seven, seven, nine, nine, six, six, nine, eleven, eleven, four, four, six, seven, seven, two, two, and you just play the exact same thing over and over again. So, uh, again, you're just alternating the A string and top D string, and I'll give you the um, fret numbers. Two, I'll give you the fret numbers of the second D string. Two, six, seven, seven, four, four, seven, nine, nine, six, six, nine, eleven, eleven, four, four, six, seven, seven, two, two, and you play that over. 
Um, it's just really really cool and you you can kind of if you ever wanted to play around with that you know you can you could keep going you know make up your own you know you can make up your own thing but that that's pretty much I'm sure what he's playing there um, where is God in the night sky that part is the same as the just any any of the verses it's just basic basic that um the last chorus is exactly the same no there's meaning to it all the only difference is this part a little resurrection and time or rather the ending fall you got your babies i got my nurses everything's comes with the blessing the second I got my vice This part's different. Got my vice verses. I got my vice verses. All right, so that part. Uh, where is that part? Um, you three ways. I got my hers. Every blessing comes with the second. Every blessing. Every blessing comes with the sad curses. So you hear at the. Uh, uh, I got my vices. Um, second fret of the top D string, and your fourth finger is on the D string uh, sixth fret. I got my vices. The only thing you do is raise your first finger up one fret. I got my vices, and you keep playing the again. You're just playing the D strings, right? Um, you're only playing the D strings. I got my vices. Now you take this shape and you shift it one fret up this way for both of them. Verses. Then you go back to the open D string and the D string fourth fret. I got my vice verses. And you're back into this and to the intro or the verses, however you want to play them. Oh, got my last verses. he ends it and then you're gonna play the A string, D string, and G strings and it's an A2 um, and again the A2 was the second two fingers on the G string second fret and the D string second second fret and that's how he ends it alright so that took quite a while. Uh, it didn't help that my father interrupted. Um, so hopefully you guys got that. I know I say this a lot of my, if you watch a lot of my tutorials, I tend to say this a lot, but um, sorry about all the confusion again. I'll tell you, it is much easier to hear it and play it than it is to teach it or explain it. Um, it's kind of like art if you wanna, if you wanna call it something like that because it is uh, really hard to kind of explain, you know. Um, if you know, so you were sitting next to me, it would be easy to just go, "Oh, put your finger here," you know. It would be a lot easier that way. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please uh, like, thumbs up this video, and add to favorite favorites. And if you made it through this whole tutorial and can now play vice verses, I commend you because you're awesome and. Also because you're watching this video. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, obviously. And uh, I hope to be... I, I hope to be making the Thrive. Uh, that tutorial shortly because I figured both of these out a long, long time ago, but just never... At the time, I'm really busy with school to make the tutorial. So thank you guys for watching, and God bless you guys. Thanks.